In one of my last videos, I gave you a concept of how to run transition that fits perfectly in a 5 out motion half court offense. You'll find a link in the description box down below. But how should you teach transition offense to your team? A 5 on 0 drill can make sense to explain the basic concept and the positioning of your players. But it is best to move on to more game-like drills and add defense once your players have a good understanding and have automated the principles of your transition offense. Playing against defense is way more challenging. Intensity and pace of the drill will be higher. In this video, I'll show you four game-like and effective drills with high intensity and decision-making to take your team to the next level. I also have a bonus tip for you when you have more than 10 players in practice. So stay tuned to the end. Let's get into it. The 9-player fastback drill is a continuous 3-on-2 transition drill and is perfect to teach decision-making and how to take the numerical advantage. So we have two players under each basket playing defense in tandem and three players on offense. Two players wait off the court on the free throw line extended on each side of the floor. All other players line up behind. The drill starts as a 3-on-2 fastbreak. The ball handler makes the top defender commit and pass the basketball to one of the players running along the sideline. The first option is to finish at the rim. If the player with the ball gets stopped by the back defensive player, player 1 can use the second option and make a basket cut through the key. This forces the top defender to make a decision either to stay and let the cutter pass by or to defend towards the baseline. This opens up the opportunity for player number 3 to show up at the free throw line. He now has all three options depending on what the defender does. Take an easy mid-range shot, drive to the hoop or make an extra pass to the player in short corner. The drill is played live until defense gets possession of the ball. In this case, the rebounder outlets the ball to the player waiting on the sideline. The receiver takes the ball to the middle to start the fast break with the original two defenders converting to offense and filling in the outside lanes and going to the other end of the floor. The remaining players make a new defense or line up off court. The drill is now repeated going the other way. Let your players run wide along the sideline. Push the ball hard and make a defender commit. Always try to take the numerical advantage and attack the rim. The second drill is one of my all-time favorite drills because it is so fast and requires quick switching between offense and defense. So basically it is a 3-on-3 three -three drill. Every team has 3 players active on the court and at least 3 players off-court waiting on midline. Once the offensive team makes the basket or loses possession, all three offensive players are replaced by their teammates waiting off court. For this, each player must tag a teammate so that he can go onto the floor and defend the attack that just started. The same applies for the other team and makes it a tough drill with a lot of fast breaks. The easiest way to score is to run fast and to move the game to the opposite side of where the substitution players are waiting. Having the mindset to switch quickly between offense and defense and vice versa can make or break the game. If you have less than 12 players available, you can install a third team to substitute players. We have five offensive players spread across the baseline. And we have five defensive players lined up along the free throw line extended, each matched up with an offensive player. The drill starts with a pass from the coach to an arbitrary offensive player on the baseline. The defensive player, lined up across from the offensive player that received the ball from the coach, must touch the baseline before defending. It is up to the offensive players to make an extra pass to a point guard or to start the transition offense right away. The defense sprints back and reorder their matchups. 
Now we have a 5 on 4 transition situation and a temporarily numerical advantage for the offense. Once there is a score or a defensive rebound, the teams reset, switch offense and defense and go the other side. In every other situation, like a turnover or a foul, let the drill run. Adjust the drill to the way your transition offense is played. You can easily give instructions when the players are lined up. Drill number four is another great drill to teach the mindset to switch between offense and defense as quick as possible. So basically we have a regular 5 on 5 practice game with a small but subtle difference. Whenever the coach whistles, the player who has the basketball must drop it and the offensive team becomes the defensive team. The player matched up to the ball handler can pick up the ball and push down the floor. All other defensive players convert to offense as well and can run transition. The drill also works with fewer than 10 players. It is up to you as a coach to look for promising moments to whistle and let your player switch from defense to offense. If you are having a hard time being fair to both teams, you can find many apps for your smartphone with a random timer that will do the work for you. As promised, here's my bonus tip for you if you have more than 10 players available for a 5 on 5 practice game. It creates multiple opportunities to run transition offense in a regular practice game and you do not even have to take care about substitutions. The last offensive player to touch the ball is automatically replaced by his teammate waiting in the off-court corner, whether it was a hit, a miss or a turnover. For this, the player must run to his teammate and tag him. Now the substitute player can enter the court and sprint back to defend. This makes it easier for you as a coach and offers a chance for a fast break every time the possession of the ball changes, because the defense is temporarily outnumbered. These were my four drills to teach transition, including a bonus tip. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my other videos with a lot more drills. See you next time.